So I've been working for a game for a while and this is kind of like my dev diary. I only have very simple stuff. I can just run, I can just attack and I can get some feedback here. I'm getting this like white, white material that you get from, from when you get hit. And also the HP bar also gets like a little bit white just to know that you have done some damage and still a long way to go. And I wanted to document this process in this video and it's just very, very simple. Uh, I'm using a lot of the stuff that I learned over the years and especially I learned to make things really simple. And I, I remember when I start making games, I will just have some crazy ideas. I knew I, I was very confident that I could execute, but I could just really not do them at all. And the thing is, it's, I learned after like 12 years of making this and working in big game companies that it's just way easier to develop the game as you go and just try to experiment with what you already know. Try to know your weakness, your strength. My weakness obviously is programming. I'm not very good at organizing stuff and this kind of thing. My good thing is that I'm very good at visual stuff, technical stuff as well. Uh, I, I know quite, quite a lot on the 3D world. So I don't have, I don't really have an issue with that. And I think that I, I do just need to just try to play through, through your strengths, you know, try to make, make a game that you know, you can actually make in my, in my case, I have an idea. I was playing some games like Mega Man or Castlevania. And I was thinking, do I make it a roguelike? Do I make it like a platformer? And I, and I saw the pros and cons and things like that. Oh, look at that back. Uh, and I, I saw the pros and cons of that. I was just like, you know what? This is my first project that I do as a solo game developer. I want to make things really simple. Why not just, you know, create something simple, something like a Mega Man game. And I remember the other night I was, I was going out with my wife to eat and they had an arcade machine outside and we were just start playing some games and uh, most of them were beat them up but they were just so silly but so fun and it's like why don't we make something like this like why why couldn't just make something simple fun that the world can enjoy uh, just don't think about you know the be next big hit or whatever just try to do the best <laughs> try to do the best uh, with what you got try to uh, try to you know, just create something very unique for yourself. Something really, like, very personal. Uh, for me, because I worked on AAA company before, I think I value a lot the, the fact that you can actually create something very personal. And it's like, this is my, this is my piece. This is the what. I want to share to the world. This is very unique to me. And that's the, that's, that's what you share. And some people will like it. Some people will, will not like it, but at least like you're making something like you're passing something to someone. And I feel like that's very, 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 very important. And I wanted to touch on this topic in this game dev diary. The first one, the first of many, hopefully. Uh, maybe I can just, if you want to know more behind the scenes, I can let you know, but definitely think about doing something really personal, like not don't focus on the market don't focus on this kind of stuff. I know that kind of thing is very optimal. If you want to sell, if you want to make more sales, but you know, you have like companies that were like Ubisoft where I used to work, where you can tell the the main objective is just the marketing and the monetization and it's just not there anymore like it it i don't i don't think that will add meaning to your life i think doing this kind of small projects for me i already know for myself that i'm a very creative person i i just need to work on something meaningful 
Uh, maybe you're looking to work on something meaningful yourself. Maybe you're looking for have something very personal for you. And now it's a great time. Now it's a great time. Now it's the time where you can go and create something yourself. Like the tools are amazing. It's never been a better time to create games. Like I'm, I mean it. Uh, I don't think this thing could have been possible in the past that easily. So many ecosystems, so many marketplace assets, so many, so many tools you can use to create something for your own. And you learn on, on the, on the way, you know, you learn on the way. I learned quite a lot of programming this, this last weeks. So I've been learning a lot. I've been watching my own course. Uh, just the fact that this course is not teach only by me, but by other two people. So I've been learning a lot about programming, how to create a, how to create an action game. So I, I've been learning quite a lot and I've been having a lot of fun with everything that you see here. It's very simple, but it has a lot of things behind the scenes. So hopefully the first of many, uh, let me know in the comments if you are interested in following this development journey. I plan to, I plan to do more diaries. This is more like a personal diary for myself from things I learn, from what I feel. Hopefully it feels very, it is very personal to me. Hopefully if it feels also authentic to you and because while I'm working on this, I'm also learning stuff, not only about game development, but also about life, also about what things matter to me and, and this, this kind of stuff. So I, I will touch on these topics and yeah, maybe I will try today, Sunday. Maybe next Sunday we can do another one to see the progress and see and see how it goes. So if you are interested in following the journey of this this game, just you can subscribe to not not miss the next video and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.